Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your mid-month June 2022 tarot reading. This is a reading for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Don't ever try to force it. Fridays are always a general reading. Now, Mondays are something different every week. Today's reading will be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. Other weeks, it might be a love reading. I do a law of attraction tarot card reading. So lots of variety here. If you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Taurus? Messages for Taurus, please. So we'll start here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers. All right, current situation, we've got the Ten of Cups. The immediate influence is the Page of Cups in your Subconscious here, you've got the Four of Pentacles. In the distant past, you have the Seven of Swords. In the more recent past, we've got the High Priestess. Well, you've got the Six of Swords coming towards you. You're represented by the Three of Pentacles. The person or situation that you're attracting is the Two of Cups. You have the Seven of Pentacles in your hopes and fears. Eight of Wands in the outcome. So changes are definitely coming with that Six of Swords, Eight of Wands combo. Big time. You have one major arcana here. I want to tell you, though, before we get into this, right away I got with that Seven of Swords, you you found out something about somebody here. And it feels like they would lie when it would be easier to tell the truth. But I feel like more was revealed to you. Um, I do get for somebody, you don't have justice here, but almost like they were doing something illegal. I just feel like that, that you're done with that. That's the good news. But I definitely wanted to address it before we got too far on. Well, we've definitely got water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've got earth, air, and fire here. This is a beautiful combination of elements right here. I feel like you are attracting an absolute. You've got a love here that's very strong because their energy is the two of cups. So you're attracting a soulmate, but it's going to be somebody who is truly a confidant, somebody that you are building a future with. And there is a love here. That's unconditional. It's the kind of love that people ask you about. Where did you meet them? Do they have a, you know, aunt, uncle, brother, sister, dad, mom, you know, available for me? Where they're really looking at the two of you. And in some ways it's envy, but it's in others it's not going to be. It's like, I don't mean it in the negative sense of envy. I just mean like they want what you have. And so with that Queen of Cups too, they're telling you, <clears throat> pardon me, with the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups, Use your intuition because the High Priestess is the card of the psychic. And the Queen of Cups, too, is tends to be able to read situations well, intuitively knows what to do. And so if there's something here in terms of moving forward with love, you've got multiple cards saying it's like happily ever after. Plus, you have the two tens. You've got both the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here, which is really brilliant. So I feel like with that Ten of Pentacles, too, they're telling you it's a long-term situation but the ten of pentacles it's the wealth card but it truly is about leaving a legacy it's an important energy in, in your career but also in your love life whatever commitments and connections you make if you're with somebody i feel like it's one of those relationships that is for the long term you know there's no there's no desire to not do this you just are almost swept away in this you've got a match here regardless of what it is now, I do see this movement forward, and so I feel like if there's been a change, because kind of your only really troublesome energy is way back here in the past, you're going to move forward and cultivate and develop what you have. So with the um, more cups here, we have so much water here, it's amazing. So with the Ten of Cups and Page of Cups, the pages are messengers. And I feel like in the more general sense, it's like the message about your heart's desire. So if you're waiting on hearing about a job, it's moving forward. But it may, again, it may involve travel or some kind of a move with this. The Page of Cups can also be reconciliation and X coming back around. And I would say with this, 
you have a soulmate here, I mean, but love never dies. So when we have this, I mean, I start to look at this. We'll get the page back in a minute here. You have both the ace, the the two, and the ten. I mean, you know, it's there's definitely some kind of energy here about love and the, the higher purpose of this. So I do feel like you could have a renewal with somebody who was meant to be in the in the first place. But with that ten of of cups. It's the rainbow after a storm. So there's, it does indicate that there may have been a challenge here, which there is. It's back here. I mean, you've got, so interesting. We've got 78 cards. We've got the six here and the seven back here of swords. I mean, there's an interesting positioning there considering we have seven, 78 cards, right? That that's a big deal and they'll start to show up and really tell a story together. So um, the, the 10 of cups, so it has a brilliant, perfect energy to it. It's dominion. It's really, this is the happy family card too. So I feel like they're telling you, you're going to have harmony, not only in your love life, but in your life. Because cups are about living that really great life. There's celebration here. There's that we overcame it kind of feeling or we made it through something that had me wondering, had me questioning. And so too, those of you that this relates more to career, if there was something challenging with career, it may have created some of this four of pentacles energy. The fours are the four legs of a table. So when we see this, it's really more about organizing your resources. So if you had a challenge with a job ending with the seven of swords, it may have created this for you. And it doesn't mean necessarily lack as much as it means you are taking control of your finance. You're taking control in a more active interest and that's Taurus too. You love luxury, love nice things. So I'm not telling you you won't get those, but I feel like you're going to be more intentional about what's happening with money. And especially too, if you may have been frittering away money here and there, and then something difficult happened, going, you know what, I wish I would have had more on my HSA card, that kind of stuff where it is a bit practical. Now, I want to tell you too, this is in your subconscious. So it's like somewhere in your conscious mind, You've impressed upon the subconscious to be more protective of your money. And it may be related to the Seven of Swords. My only word of caution with that is just being careful not to attract more situations like it. Um, so if somebody did take money or they didn't pay you for something that they owed you with a job, we just don't want to harbor this because then it can result in more lessons of the same nature, okay? So I feel like it's saying enough is here. You don't have to be worried about money. There's nothing to worry about in this reading. So the Seven of Swords, oh God, everybody loves seeing this. No, they don't. Um, the good news is it's in the distant past. So the Seven of Swords, to me, it feels like somebody who tried to double cross you, but I feel like you you found out what you needed to know about them. Now, it, it may have been an abrupt ending to a job. And like I said before, it may have been not getting paid money that was owed to you. But I also feel like, too, if that's the case, if it was a company who didn't pay you out, they're suffering financially, okay? I feel like their problems are bigger than yours, if that makes sense. I don't mean that in a, uh, to minimize what you went through, but like I feel like they may have significant financial problems. And I know sometimes we go, well, they claim file bankruptcy. Now, you know, now they don't. I get that, too, where you're going, well, I don't want to do that personally. But I do feel like it had a ripple effect, but they had... They had significant issues due to their own behaviors as well. So it also created a problem for them. But um, in more personal level too, if it was somebody who lied or cheated on you or did something like that, I do feel like the truth was definitely revealed with this. The High Priestess is an important card here. It's you being in that more patient analytical um, aspect. This card of the psychic, so you may have had intuitive hits. You may have had dreams that were very vivid. Or you may just downright know in this and believe it. When you feel something and you know it's the truth, know that it is. Don't second guess it. Because with this too, it the, the high priestess holds this book of secrets, the book of Torah. It's the laws of life. So for some of you, what that may have caused was what I'd say was a spiritual breakdown that leads to a breakthrough. Oftentimes we think we're having a psychological breakdown, but it really is more of a spiritual and what that did for you, forever this is for, is it reconnected you with source with this. Because she has, her gown is high vibrational. It's the beginning of the seat of the soul, the pool of consciousness. And so for that, from that seven of swords, it, it brought you into this jumping off place 
where you're really in this expansion, okay? I hope this is making sense because I know we're going a little deep with this card. It brings in balance, wisdom, and it's law of attraction energy. So this is the beginning of attracting every damn thing you've asked for. So allow it to be so. The um, hermetic teaching behind this one, prima materia, matter comes from the mind. So you are creating not just with your conscious mind, but you're influencing the subconscious. So again, we're moving forward here. Um, so if it was a relationship that ended, I do feel like you have enough information to kind of put, seal that chapter and move into a new chapter. What I love about this is it shows the challenge that you had right here. But you're moving into something that's going to be a lot more straightforward. There's honesty. There's integrity. And some of you, if it's a job, you're going to be in a long-term situation. It may move fast. You may actually have a physical move associated with it. But with this, it's like you've learned what you needed to learn. And you don't stay here bobbing up and down and being pushed around by the current. So whatever you needed that was... Um, to some extent, a spiritual breakthrough, it's happening and it's going to catapult you into this next phase of really being in love, being in love with your life. If it was to a relationship that ended, because of that Seven of Swords, it's difficult to see that coming back in the rest of the cards. It just doesn't show up that way. It really is learning from it and moving forward. So the Three of Pentacles, this is you in, in one of the um, energies that's best for you. You are building a firm foundation here. You're laying plans for the future here. You have the, the financial stability that you need. This is also a card about moving too. So just so that when we talk about this, you have multiple cards that show a move. Now, this is also too architecting what you want. So it's not just getting whatever you can get your hands on. It really is designing perfection. I hear a design for living. So I feel like too in a relationship, you have a partnership that does just that. It's a design for living. You have very harmonious energy around you too with this. So in terms of work and in terms of a, a loving partnership, you're able to hear each other's ideas and trust in those ideas and then build on them together. So you are definitely building something that's going to multiply and really unfold in a beautiful way. So the Two of Cups comes in and we've kind of talked a little bit about this. You definitely have something reciprocal. It's a match, no doubt about it. Now in a love relationship, it's a reciprocal love. It's somebody that you can talk to about anything. You can be yourself. You can be completely transparent. I don't know why I'm seeing two people in their socks, whatever that means. How strange. But either way, maybe it's just trying to sell, tell me or tell you that you can really get down to the basics, okay? And it doesn't, you can, you can reveal anything and there's nothing that is left unturned. There's no secrets here. We've already brought those out with the high priestess, haven't we? But with this two of cups too, I do feel like you have a very supportive partner or partnership because twos are about partnerships. In terms of work too though, I feel like anything you invest or put into it, you get a return. So if you had something that was way out of balance, which it shows up in the past, this is going to be a lot more balanced and it feels so much more stable and steady. You know, there's just not a, a return to something that was unstable there. Well, as much as we talked about the Seven of Swords, we have the Seven of Pentacles coming in. So this is also, too, where you get what you put out. You get what you are. Okay, it's not what we try to tell ourselves. It's not what we try to convince other people. You're getting what you are. And so if you've been sitting back and you said, I'm going to do the High Priestess, or I was doing it, and I was sitting back, and I wasn't you know, retaliating or trying to do anything, I let the universe handle it. Here's where, you show, here's where it shows up that this was the right move for you. And so the money comes in. I do feel like in terms of a job change, somebody's going to get a significant raise. To me, it seems like 10000 is what I hear, 10000 So it may be 10000 a year or more. I mean, I think that's pretty significant. You can do some things with that. Um, but I also feel like, too, in a love relationship, it's exactly what you've wanted. It's like conquering some of the challenges uh, of love. I hear that Juice Newton song, um, Love's Been a Little Bit Hard on Me. <laughs> Somebody here, if that's your anthem, uh, if you go into a store and that's playing, talk about synchronicity or you turn on the car radio and that's on, how often do you hear that song? I don't ever think of it, so I, that's all I can tell you. 
With the Eight of Wands, this is Brace for Change, but it's beautiful. Wands are expansion and growth. And so with this one, they're telling you your life is about to expand and grow in beautiful ways. It is the arrows of love in the tarot. So I feel like you have communication coming in that's going to be very positive in terms of a commitment, a connection. Some of you may be about moving in together, and that's why all this moving stuff keeps coming in. Um, but it also, too, in terms of a job, it's that job offer that says, let's lay this out. And I feel like it's going to be very succinct. You're not going to have to sit and wonder and follow up with a bunch of emails and ask, what's going on now? You know, I, you know how those are when they offer you stuff and then they don't respond. This is going to be very straightforward. All right. What else does Taurus need to know, please? Messages for Taurus, please. Advice for Taurus. Listen to your intuition. Well, we said that's your best and highest self giving you wisdom and guidance. Ask for help from others. So again, there may be somebody who comes in as a mentor or somebody who's helpful along the way. You've got success. This always reminds me of the chariot telling you that victory is yours within the next few weeks. So things are definitely moving forward for you. And you've got a yes. You can have, do, or be anything, Taurus. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.